Hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play The Binding of Isaac. We're gonna do another challenge run here. And what character should I use for this challenge run? You know, I think I'm gonna go with... Hmm, I think I'm gonna go with... D Maggie for this challenge run. Now, this is the run that most people have been clamoring for above all else, and that's a run with no items, so I'm gonna call this the Spartan Run. You know, Spartan just doesn't just mean Gerard Butler with airbrushed abs also means not using anything more than you require. So in this run, we are going to do it without using any items. We'll still be able to use bombs or keys, but we won't be able to go to the item room or take any of the upgrades from the bosses. So I'm gonna be relying on uh, basically tinted rocks, which there is one right there that I can't blow up. Uh, I can't buy anything from the shop. I basically, it, it's gonna be as vanilla as vanilla it gets. I cannot take any treasure with the exception of like spirit hearts or anything I can gleam from one of these tinted rocks, of which there is one right here. So we'll blow this up and hopefully get some spirit hearts. And more bombs, fantastic. That's good Spartan usage right there. Now, uh, it's a shame we're not gonna be able to get our Meat Boy here. Now the problem with a run like this, uh, and believe me, I am aware, fully aware of the problems with a run like this. One of them, obviously, is that my skill level is not as high as is definitely necessary to beat it a run like this, but it's gonna be a good try anyway. It'll be a good, ah, uh, good practice run. I will be using Maggie's Yum Heart whenever necessary, though. Because, come on, I gotta have some mercy on me in this situation. But the, the other problem is that uh, I will not be able to do any more increased damage. So I really thought about taking a character like Kane, But with Kane, or sorry, with, uh, with Judas, who obviously has the Book of Belial and some increased damage, you're really putting yourself out there because you only get that one heart. Maggie, I have the ability to kind of replenish health, which is really useful for me. And that's going to be necessary, because it could take me fucking forever to beat some of these bosses, considering I'm going to be doing default damage for the rest of the game, unless maybe I pick up the rock item from blowing up a tinted rock. But in any case, I would be very surprised if you're watching this video and it's only one run with zero deaths in it. My estimate is that I will probably die several times over the course of this video, but hey, you never know. So there's that cube of meat, we are not going to get that. It's going to be hard to break the habit of walking into the item uh, as soon as I get it, but I'll, I'll do my best. I don't know what's going to happen if I accidentally pick up an item. <laughs> I'll be ashamed, that's for sure. And another bomb, which is good because we can get some tinted rocks. Uh, and I'm... In terms of projecting my, my... Oh, God. Projecting my chances of success here, low doesn't even start to cover it. I'm pretty sure we're looking at maybe like a 5% chance of success. But hey, if it works, it works. I think pills should be allowed. Especially when they're so useless much of the time. So there's the mob trap room. Probably will want to go into that. The cool thing about this run, though, is that I don't really need uh, keys. I pretty much just need bombs. Because I'll be blowing up tinted rocks. Maybe that slot machine. Oh, I guess I do need a key in order to get to that. But that's okay. We'll continue onwards here. I guess, well, I've kind of presented some nebulous possible criteria here. But basically, I'm not going to be picking up any treasure from a shop or from the item rooms. So we'll, uh, I suppose, going on here as well. Or from the bombs, I should say. And another key and another bomb. Fantastic. Come out of here. I guess we we'll, might as well deal with the mob trap room while I'm pretty strong. Let's see what we got here. Half a heart and an exploding bomb. That's pretty terrible in terms of things I would have wanted right now. But that's okay. None of these things. Oh, this is one of my least favorite, uh arsenals to get when you're playing in a mob trap room. The grandfather flies, and then I think after this we get the, the heads. Those are probably my least favorite. Whoa, what happened to that guy's bullet? It's like I shot it, but it didn't... It just slowed it down. It didn't murder it. Uh, now we got these guys who chase us. Okay. These guys can be a pain in the ass sometimes, too. So overall, that mob trap room is pretty damn useless, and I really regret going inside of it. But that's okay. Hey, there's some money that I probably won't get a chance to use, or definitely won't get a chance to use, as well as some bombs, so everything turned out okay. And obviously these first few floors, I don't expect them to be that difficult, but uh, you know, it's possible. Things are going to get a lot more harrowing as we go on. We've got this champion Grandfather Fly to deal with. Grandfather Fly is one of my least favorite enemies to deal with this early in the game, but I think I've got a range advantage on him. Yes, I do. A few more shots and he'll go down. Those should do one a whole heart of damage each if his shots actually hit me. But they didn't, so we're okay. Actually, Double Fly is one of my least favorite enemies in the basement part one and two as well. But anyway, 
Hopefully we get lucky with our bosses here. Maybe get someone like a, a Larry Jr. or a Monstro. Oh, wow. Well, this could be kind of a tough room. Maybe. Maybe not. I'm going to hold on to these bombs for now because I might want to use them in the boss fight, particularly if we're fighting you know, a particular boss. Like a Larry Jr. It's pretty easy to get with bombs, and usually the bombs will take him out really quickly. But for now, we'll just be contented to have cleared out the basement part two, except for one room. And that's another run you guys will be seeing eventually, me clearing out every single room on every single floor. Oh, so we're going to be fighting Stevie here. Another item that hurts not to get. Between the cube of meat and uh, little Stevie, I would have been having a pretty sweet run so far, but unfortunately, that is not the case. So let's get him chasing us here. Oh, I... It's too goddamn fast. Let's put this one here. Excellent. Oh, that, was, that worked really well. Okay. But I want to uh, I want to save the rest of these bombs. Because you never know when I fi might find three tinted rocks. And I'm kind of undecided as to whether I would take the rock upgrade for damage upgrades from the tinted rock if I found it. You know what? I won't. I'll keep this as, as Spartan as it can be. And hey, we could make a deal with the devil. But... We're just trying to do a run without any treasure whatsoever. So I think we'll just stick to as vanilla as we can get for now. So we'll abandon that item and continue down to the next floor. And in the caves, I expect things to get a little bit tricky. Obviously the overall strategy for uh, a run like this is much different than your average strategy, which is clear out the floor, at least until you get to the item rooms and the, uh, the shop. Oh god, I'm trapped in this corner now. Our strategy here is pretty much the same as a speedrun. We want to find the boss as fast as possible because none of those rooms have anything for us in them. We're just gonna take up the stream of popcorn and pray that we're choosing the right direction here. And if we are, that greatly increases our chances of success. More money. Almost certainly won't get any chance to use that. Unless I choose to help that guy. But he might give me an item, and that's not what I want. I want no help whatsoever. Murder these meat boy wannabes. Couple diagonal shots. Should take that. Oh! Should take that champion out pretty easily. If I could actually hit him, which I apparently can't. Oh! One more, one more, two more, three more, six and a half more. Jeez, I just, there we go. Finally. Okay, hopefully, it looks like we're getting pretty close to a terminus here, so we should be on the right track in order to get past the caves part one, or at least get to the boss. Not saying we're going to defeat the boss, but at least get to the boss. I wonder if it's, would you consider it cheating a little bit that I'm using Maggie for a run that's supposed to have no items? It's not my fault, every character has some kind of item except for Kane. And Kane's passive, that he starts with automatically, just gives him better items. It makes him totally useless. Considering he only starts with two hearts as well. The reason I took Maggie was not for her yum heart, but more so for the fact that she actually has four starting hearts. Which gives me a little bit of a cushion when I'm first starting the game, as opposed to Judas, who I would be fucked with if I got hit once in the basement or the caves. Alright, more money. Mob trap room. Can, oh, I might as well get that, because I'm never going to use that key for anything else. Oh, bombs and keys and spirit hearts. Oh, but they've been scattered to the four corners of the earth. But that's a good uh, good pickup from this from this room. It's funny. Whoa, just shot that bullet out of his ass. It's funny, that would be considered a terrible uh, get for the mob trap room. Except in the situation where you're not allowed to pick up any treasure. It's perfectly tailor-made for this situation. It's almost as if the game knew. Let's continue hammering away here. Wouldn't it be something if I won on my no-item run, but could not win on my uh, my dark side run, where I could have made unlimited deals with the devil? Good dodging on my part there, if I do say so myself. Human popcorn is kind of a pain to take out when you don't have increased damage or piercing shots, because they just summon like a huge-ass fly shield that you have to work through if you're going to get to them. There we go. Now, if I could use my range advantage on these guys, maybe they won't spit out as many flies. Oh, I was closing the distance on him there. There we go, there's one more. Okay, this run could be like two hours long because of the amount of time it's gonna take me to get through these rooms. Goddamn human popcorn, just thank you. Take forever. What do we got here now? Oh, turret guys. Could be a little bit trickier than usual. Or maybe not. Oh. I gotta, I gotta get them back in the cycle of only one shooting at a time. Why did I walk directly into that bullet? Of only one shooting at a time. Come on. There we go. Oh, and another stupid hit. I got a tarot card. What was my other tarot card? Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, we'll, we'll hold on to the magician instead. Come down to 
this way. Remember, even the Spartans used oracles. I'm not sure where I'm going with that. Could be kind of a tough room, but I think once you get a couple flies down, you're in the position where you're going to take damage. Fuck. More money. And the boss room. Fantastic. So we did make the right decision in terms of which direction to take. We got there as fast as we possibly could. These guys are taking a, a long ass time to kill. And I don't like that. Each one of them has maybe two more hits left. Yeah. Excellent. Don't need any of that, so let's just go fight the boss. It's gonna be Gertie. That's a pretty shitty draw. Gertie's my least favorite boss, but at least it's not a champion Gertie. Which means I can catch it in that cycle of uh, just firing at it constantly because it'll, it'll fire its own bullets. First you gotta really take out that nub though. Pain in the ass. Let's plant some bombs around Gertie. Make my life a little bit easier. Gertie seems to have a ton of hit points. Maybe the most out of any uh, any enemy or any boss up to this point in the game. But I want to save about three bombs because you never know when I'm going to need those. Take out his grandfather fly if I get a chance. These nubs, pain in the ass. But I think I've got Gertie in a good position now. Look at how many hit points this bitch has. Like this bastard, I suppose. We're, we're uh, kind of taking it as canon that Gertie is a male at this point. Down to half. Oh man, and it's gonna take a long time to get it down to that last half. But on the bright side, I probably won't take too much damage for the rest of this fight. They've got Gertie pretty much figured out. I got a good chance to take on the nubs whenever they show up. And hey, I just used my yum heart. Again, I don't consider that cheating. Even the Spartans visited doctors, I think. I don't know. It's been a while since I've studied Greek history. Just keep doing a little half circle strafing here. Half circle strafing is a technique that comes in handy on a lot of the bosses. What is Gertie anyway? This is the first time I've ever stopped to look at it. It looks like maybe it's a like a kidney or something. Maybe a pancreas. They got kind of torn up and mixed with another organ. It's hard to tell. There's some kind of glandular structure there. It appears anyway. Oh, and Gertie said, "We'll take out these nubs." I'm not a doctor. What do I? We'll definitely not get that HP up. It's not the Spartan way. We'll head down to the cave spot too. Now we're gonna have sloth. It's possible sloth will maybe give us something good. Some keys, some bombs. Particularly bombs would be useful because I'm gonna be utilizing bombs a lot more to take out bosses. Oh, why did I walk right into it? Look at that fucking silkworm. It took like 10 shots to take out. Luckily, sloth is already down to about half health. In particular, against Mom and Mom's heart, it's gonna be really useful for me to have bombs. Although Mom is near impossible to hit with Mom's, uh, Mom's heart. If I could somehow get past Mom, it'd be much, much better. Good, yeah. Uh, this run will not end with Sloth. My laziness is a trophy, not a curse. So very nearly dead. Look at these silkworms! Like, 50 shots! Good. Yes, destroy your own allies, please. There we go, tarot card. Emperor takes us directly to the boss. Pretty useful. If I can get some hearts right away. Let's use this pill. Oh no. Oh no! Get away from me! So we'll definitely hold on to the Emperor. That could really come in handy. Uh, but I want to at least be able to use my Yum Heart one more time before I use that. Let's use a bomb here and hopefully hit LJ with it. Fantastic. Took off about, yeah, 40% of his health, which is good for me. Now I'll just hang back here. Whoa! Larry Jr. Be nice. Extra half heart. That's good stuff. Yum heart's getting closer and closer to regenerating, which is the main reason I'm still in this room as opposed to just teleporting directly to the boss. Oh, starting this good good movement on Larry Jr.'s part. It's almost got me tricked here. There's nowhere to run. Oh, almost got me. Jesus Christ! It's like he's a sentient being. He has no eyes. How can, oh wait, he does. How can he see me that well? There we go. More bombs. Two more used rooms to the yum heart. I think one or two. Oh hey, extra half heart there. What are we dealing with here? Ah, this room is actually one of my favorites. Take, oh, we only took out one that way. Shit. We could just run directly for the exit, but I think in order for the, our item to charge, we do have to actually kill everything that moves in here. And that should do it if I can get one more hit. Yeah. Yum Heart's recharge. Let's go directly to the boss. 
Peep! And a champion version of Peep, no less, which is gonna create some problems, perhaps, because Peep is kind of a pain in the ass. I don't know if you've noticed, but I've had some trouble against Peep recently. Uh, and especially doing like 10% damage to it over the course of 50 shots is not conducive to beating Peep easily. But as long as I, I keep it cool, I should be okay. Oh, that was not keeping it cool. And you can see the Peep drops the creep beneath it as well. The more it, the more it moves. Like, it's, like it drops the creep beneath it as it jumps now too, is what I meant to say. Just hang around here. Whoa! This is a good position to be in, unless that eye somehow manages to uh, make it in here. So far, so okay. Another uh, phrase that I feel is super... kind of... Uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm not focusing on my commentary, I'm focusing so much on the actual game at hand here. This is the second eye. And we're in a good position here, if we can just stand... Oh! Ah! Dumb way to take damage. Okay, that, now that's a phrase that really uh, exemplifies the Let's Play. Again, stupid damage. This could be close. Gotta, gotta play Gertie, or Peep, get out of here! Oh, come on! Okay. Things are rough now. Really gotta focus. Commentary is taking a backseat for the time being. Oh, come on! It just grazed me on, like, my left hit. Let's replay it. We're gonna do one more... One more attempt here, at the very least. I can't leave you guys with a 17-minute video. It just doesn't feel right in this day and age. Half hour or bust. I'm gonna try it one more time. It's, it's a shame how... I thought my strategy was foolproof, actually going to the boss as fast as possible. Turns out, I didn't want to go to the boss. Hopefully, we won't end up fighting Peep this time, or if we do... We end up having an awful lot more bombs, although that's probably unlikely considering the way I'm playing the game right now. Again, uh, I actually think it's probably less likely that I'll beat it on the second try, although I have had some pretty decent second runs, so I don't want that money. What am I going to do with that money? I do have a bomb, though, which could come in handy. Let's see what we're missing out of this item room. Hey, go. get over here. Get over here. There we go. Heart. We're missing out on the bean, which is not that useful anyway. It just causes a poison gas cloud. First enemy here is going to be Champion Larry Jr. I will attempt not to use a bomb on it, although that would make my job a lot easier. Because again, you never know when this bomb could be used to get some uh, tinted rocks, give us some spirit hearts. Or potentially, uh, you know, bombs. Or potentially even an item that I probably would not be able to pick up. Or would choose not to pick up. I would definitely be able to pick it up. Uh, da -da -da -da. I hate dancing in close with Larry Jr. like this, because you never know which direction he's going to move. I guess he's the man. He's the leader. Well, obviously I'm the woman I'm playing as Maggie right now. That was a... Oh, that worked out really well, actually. We've got a pretty good uh, setup for taking on Larry Jr. here. Stay out of the way of the head and you'll be okay. Also, great advice. If you happen to be with a male partner and he's ejaculating. Pick up the spirit heart. Hey, there's a tinted rock right here. I didn't even notice. And there's two more spirit hearts. That's going to be excellent since we're just bypassing this uh, dog heart here. And moving onwards. Well, there's only one path for us to take right now. So we'll take that path. Pretty much just stand here, fire away at these hoppers. One more hit on this guy. Should, one more hit on this guy should take him out. Key that we can use to open a chest. And an item room I don't even want to go to. But we'll hang away at these guys. This guy's got a pretty good setup for himself over here in the corner. It's going to make him... A little bit more difficult to take out than I would have expected. And I did indeed take some damage. But hey, there's an extra heart that I would be able to use if I had taken damage on my regular hearts instead of my spirit hearts. And there's a chest which will hopefully give us some keys and bombs. Or two cents. That's impossible for me to use. Really should be shooting this fire, but again, I'm so lazy when it comes to playing this game. And, I, you know, laziness is okay in a vanilla run at this point anyway. I don't have to necessarily get every item on the screen in order to beat the game anymore. But when I'm playing these challenge runs, it might be for the best. Blow these guys away. Getting okay, human popcorn's a pain in the ass because I do so little damage to it. If I can get them trapped, it's okay. There's a heart again I can't use. A chest I will open to get a bomb. Fair trade, keys for bombs. Remember, the bombs are going to be more useful because I can use them on bosses. 
Or I could use them on a room like this if I didn't want to take anybody out. I could just plant a bomb right here and be done with it. But I think that would be irresponsible. Because this room is actually pretty easy as long as you've got half decent dodging skills. And half decent diagonal shooting skills. More health that probably won't be necessary unless I'm fighting the boss. And hey, we got Sloth, the same dickhead who uh, did a pretty significant amount of damage to us in the last one. In fact, almost ended our uh, almost ended our run before Peep actually ended it about 30 seconds later. But this time, much easier. If I could just hit him one more time, two more, six more times, who knows? Hey, actually dropped an item, but I'm not going to use that. Even though I think it would be perhaps within the rules to uh, use an item that you didn't get from a treasure room. Depends. It, it, obviously over these I've taken a pretty liberal stance when it comes to the rules. But we'll continue moving in this direction, leaving Bob's rotten head behind. And that's a big thing to leave behind, because that could also function as a bomb anytime I wanted it to as well. Or anytime it was charged, anyway. Alright, this is a shitty room. They got me hemmed in in the corner. I died, died! Oh man, I got so lucky there! And a little bit unlucky there, but hey, I can't complain too much. I'm still rolling on spirit hearts right now. And hey, look at that, there's another spirit heart right here. Or another uh, tinted rock, which will probably drop spirit hearts, and it's even good, and it's good. So we got a lot of spirit hearts, and who are we fighting? Monstro. Alright. Old hat at this point. I've, uh, we've got a history together. He's not so hard. Although he might take me a little bit of time to take out. Just because, again, I'm doing so little initial damage. I've said erroneously a couple times that uh, Maggie does less damage than Isaac right at the very beginning. That is not true. Ah, Maggie and Isaac do exactly the same starting damage. Maggie's just slower than Isaac. But of course, Isaac has his advantages. Or, uh, Maggie has her advantages as well, obviously, starting with an extra heart. Which should be pretty much key for this run through. Although, you know, it would be good to start as Judas as well, just because you'd have more hurting power. But I don't trust myself to not get a hit twice over the course of, like, the first few levels before I can generate some spirit hearts. All right, not going to get that item. What could I get from the devil? I could get the cat, or I could get the 666. I think it's the mark of the beast, which gives us three more damage, or two more damage. I can never remember. Anyway, blow up these guys right here. Champion will hopefully drop some bombs. Get out of there! Hopefully drop some bombs for us. Again, that's going to make the boss fights not easy. I would just say possible instead. Particularly some of the later boss fights against the like, later Horsemen of the Apocalypse. Monstro 2 is going to be a huge pain in the ass to take out if I don't have any bombs to get him with. It's going to take like 45 minutes probably. Oh, why did I walk into it every time? And another room like this. Tempting to just use my bomb and get the fuck out of here, but I'm not going to do that. So one run that I really want to do is a run, like a pacifistic run where I don't fight in any of the rooms, and I only kill things incidentally. But in order for that run to succeed, I'm definitely going to need the, the fetus item so that I can just blow up every door. But I would like to see how that run turns out. So that's one, you know, if I'm starting another run and I end up with a fetus, maybe that's a run you'll see. Particularly a fetus on the first floor. Or the, like even the first devil room I would consider kosher. And I'm having, there we go. And another spirit heart. That makes me feel a little bit better about getting hit so many times. And lots of uh, things to see in here, but we will see almost none of them because I want to go directly to the boss room. And our boss this time is going to be Fistula. All right, that's a pretty good draw, actually. Fistula is not a bad boss to take on this early in the game. Or this mid into the game, I suppose. But it is kind of a pain in the ass. Oh, I snuck through there. Don't even kill yourself. Because there's going to be a lot of things going on on the screen right now. And unfortunately, Maggie is not the best dodger with her low starting speed. And of course, low low ending speed as a result of my inability to collect items. Oh, up, 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 up. Now, there's a lot of shit going on on this. I feel like I'm playing like Turrican right now or something. Oh, hopefully I pronounced that right. I know what I mean. I've mentioned in other eponymous uh, shooting franchises in the past, people have been annoyed with my pronunciation. I apologize. Uh, 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 uh. I am really, well, of course, as I was about to say, I'm really impressed with my, my dodging skills so far. I take damage. But you gotta admit, up until that point, it has been pretty good. I am almost out of spirit hearts, though. But still, this has gone better than the boss fight against Peep, anyway. And one more. X 
Excellent. Don't need that tears up. Who needs the tears up? We're going downstairs. And this room is going to be a pain in the ass. You can tell that right up. Oh my god! There's so many of them. Are you telling me I still got hit there? That's unbelievable. This is a really tough room considering the setup that I have right now. There we go. This should make it a little bit easier. I can fire at these guys across the pond here. Across this opening. This chasm. This crevasse, if you will. I'll use that yum heart as soon as I lose one more health, which will probably happen pretty soon. Oh, come on. Get over it. Very tempted to just use a bomb to get the fuck out of this room as fast as possible. But instead, I will not do that, and will probably end up taking stupid damage as a result. Pride, one of the seven deadly sins. As well as greed, because I'm kind of hoping that they drop a heart or a bomb from the game. Or a sense, I mean, that's cool too. Except for the fact that it's not, because I can't use it. What do we have going on in here? More silkworms! You guys have got to have an exterminator come through here. Fumigate the whole place. Your basement is rotten with silkworms that shoot lasers at me, lady. I'm sorry I said anything. Please don't murder me or shove me into your vagina to fight a miniature fetus version of myself. Or a gargantuan fetus version of myself, I suppose. Is anyone even following what I'm saying at this point? I'm getting delirious here. Alright, well, this is a dead end. Except for that jabroni, but I don't have any money to give him. Well, I do, but I'm going to hold on to it for myself. Because I'm not allowed to use it. Um, yeah, let's fight these champion fistulas here. Because I really should have taken damage there. Because they'll drop some sort of item after they die, and fistulas tend to be pretty easy. Especially when they spawn bomb flies, so I can just shoot these bomb flies. And hopefully blow up the other bomb flies. If there's any justice left in this world. Oh, get out of there, Maggie! Maggie, you're so slow! You go to Usain Bolt training regimen, please. One more, we'll be able to get out of this room. At least I did get a... I got a spirit heart out of that, right? Yeah, it's, that's not so bad. Mob trap room. Might be worth going into, although my yum heart is not charged yet. It will be charged after this room. Let's just use a bomb and get the fuck out of here. I don't even want to waste my time. Let's go. We know this is where the boss is, so... Oh god! Come on! Uh, fucking silkworms don't play fair! But I guess I'm not playing fair either. They can't, they can't actually hit me from there. So let's fire at them like this. Oh wow, he did a U turn there. I don't think I've ever seen them do that. Oh yes, I have. Several times. What pill do we have? Use it right away. Bad gas, big deal. Hopefully the boss is through here. Well, there's the item room anyway. As well as. Oh, get the TNT! I guess I don't need to use the TNT anymore. Oh, God! Uh, there's a tinted rock in here. Hopefully some spirit hearts. Yeah, and a key, which maybe I'll be able to use on a treasure chest. Oh, this is just getting goddamn ridiculous now. Fire away at these guys now. Yeah, what do you want to do? What are you going to do now? What are you going to do now? What are you going to do now? I said it three times because I felt like I fucked up my pronunciation the first time. It's the same punishment I dole out to my students. Get this key, and hopefully the boss is coming shortly because... I don't know why. Because I'm lazy again. Is that a good enough reason for you, huh? This guy's death will be able to continue moving on. Back with full health. Uh, and now back to no spirit hearts. I hate this layout for rooms. Because there's that spot in the corner where I think I can always get out of it, but I always end up being trapped in it. Ugh! Well, at least I got this half heart back. Please tell me that the boss room is off here. Excellent. Oh, man. Okay. Oh! <laughs> I've got an idea. Let's use a bomb here. I know I should be saving my bombs. To take out the boss. But that's okay. I feel like this is going to result in me losing less health on this room. There we go. And I really should use another bomb. Right away, but I'm not gonna. Instead, I'm going to try baiting him this way. But he got to be pretty goddamn ballsy. Oh, what a 
brilliant shot on his part. There we go, one down. Come on, come on. Ah! Oh. This guy's a goddamn sniper hero. Goddamn sniper hero. Oh, he's, he's tricky too. One more should take him out though. And there's a chest we can't get to. So we'll just go fight our boss. It's gonna be Gertie. Hurdy Gertie. It's gonna take me 30 hours to beat it. And especially if I can't get to that nub. Kill the nub! Oh god, it's two more. Might as well just place a bomb there. Take it out as fast as possible. Alright, we're just gonna keep hammering away at Gertie here. You know the drill. You saw it about 15 minutes ago. And I don't think this is gonna be the end of us, so we definitely will make it at least down to the depths. Well, not definitely. Probably. Oh, come on, nubs upon nubs. Gertie. We're supposed to play fair here. Okay. Taking 500 fucking shots to take out this bitch. Almost got it down to 50%. After non stop hammering away at it for like three minutes already. Well, I guess there is brief stoppages when the nubs appear. 50%, okay. Let's get this nub from a distance, that would be great for me. Nubs upon nubs again. There we go. Finally got this down. Now the grandfather flies, I'm just gonna let them be, basically. Do a quarter circle scraping here. Mix it up a little bit. Oh. Try to take a pop shot at me. Gertie. Gertie, we go way back. Why you why you not cool with me right now? You were my you were my first true nemesis. But I thought we got past that. We had brunch that one time. There was cantaloupe. You said that was your favorite. Oh Gertie, no! No! <laughs> That's what I get for saying I would definitely get to the depths. Anyway, that was my best crack at an item run or a no item run. Died on the caves part two both times. If you think you can do better, let me know. Whether you think you can do better or not, please leave a comment if you have a suggestion for a challenge run. As always, I'll see you guys in a future video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.